Should you wait for NVIDIA 3000 series GPUs or heck, even big Navi GPUs? Well, that answer is, it depends. And we walk through why. This is Robitech. I am getting a lot of questions now on Discord and on social media asking what my thoughts are on waiting for 3000 series NVIDIA GPUs or heck, big Navi GPUs from AMD. Or if it's okay to pick up a 2000 series GPU or maybe a Ryzen 5700 XT. With articles like the recent one in PC Gamer really making it feel like these GPUs are indeed right around the corner, I really began to ponder, I love that word ponder, I really began to ponder the answer to this question and given this is my first go around as a tech tuber, I wanted to walk you through my thinking as to what I would do given the current situation and why. Now, to be clear, these are my thoughts. So before you go off and say, well, you're wrong or you're an idiot, which I know I'll get anyway, uh, you can totally feel free to disagree. I'm, I'm okay with that. These are my thoughts, these are my opinions, and I'm okay with having them. I'm hoping this rationale helps at least a few of you make a decision, and I'd love to see down in the comments below what you think about my thought process. Now, honestly, I don't think there's a really easy yes or no answer because it really does depend. So let's dig into how I would break this down and hopefully you finish this video with a better idea of what you should do given this unique dilemma we are currently facing. Now it is unique because at the high end spectrum we haven't really had anything for almost two years. Sure, we had 5700 XT from AMD, but outside of the 2080, 2080 Super and the 2080 Ti have basically been the reigning champs now since uh, two years ago when Nvidia first released them. So when I think about how a next-gen powerful GPU is really going to help you, it's really dependent on the resolution you're going to be playing at. We know that these 3000 GPUs are going to be faster and better, but the other thing we also know is that without big competition from someone like AMD, price really isn't going to be competitive for these new GPUs for at least six months. Now, we have GPUs from AMD now, I talked about them earlier, and they are competitive both for performance and value. And that's at the low to mid range. But until we see Big Navi and it pushes Nvidia across the board, I mean, they get pressure across their entire product offering, I don't see 3000 series pricing acting a whole lot different than they did when the RTX rolled out about two years ago. Now, even if Navi ends up being all of that and a bag of chips, which AMD is completely capable of, I mean, we look at Ryzen 3000 series and what they've done with, with their Ryzen chips and heck, it could be awesome. But NVIDIA isn't going to be reacting super fast because production and economics teach us that knee-jerk reactions aren't always the best reactions and it takes some time to see how things land per se. Now let me just boil it down. I know I've just, I've said a lot of words, but let's just make it simple. I am assuming the following. 3000 series NVIDIA GPUs are going to be hard to get and a constant price for at least six months, if not a year. And 2000 GPUs minus the 2080 Ti, maybe the 2080 Super, will see some slight price cuts because manufacturers shift production to 3000 series cards and clear out inventory. But I don't expect them to actually be that much cheaper. I'm also assuming you're not going to be crazy with your PC builds here, and when I go through the list, I'm thinking a CPU from a 2000 series or 3000 series Ryzen, or a 9th and 10th gen Intel. Point is, guys, I'm not gonna go into the depth here about you using used market on eBay or anything like that. This is really about you're wanting to build a PC or you have a more recent PC and you're thinking about upgrading your GPU. So when you think about a decision like this, it boils down to a couple of things. N number one. What resolution? Are you playing at 1080p? Are you playing at 1440p or 2K? Or even 4K? What frame rate? Is it 60 FPS? Is it 100 frames per second? 240 frames per second? Or maybe even one of those crazy Razer 360 FPS? Are you playing with ray tracing? Is it on or off? So let's start off with 1080p gaming. If you are gaming at 1080p, should you wait for a 3000 series GPU? I can safely say that for the most part, if you're gaming at 1080p, the answer is most likely no. Again, assuming 2000 slash 3000 series Ryzen or eighth or ninth gen Intel. One of the best illustrations I can give you when you think about gaming at 1080p is from a user called Emerald Flame on Reddit. When you think about a CPU and a GPU combination for gaming. So imagine that a CPU is like a professor assigning papers and the GPU is the student who has to write them. 1080p is like a professor assigning a five paragraph and open-ended essay. No big deal, quick and easy for the GPU to complete. Give it back to the professor to grade and say, okay, done, give me the next assignment. This means the professor has to grade easily, frequently, and have new prompts ready to go, just about every class period, if not more often. 
4K is like the CPU slash professor assigning a 25 to 30 page in-depth research paper. It takes the GPU slash student a lot longer to complete something of that scale. So the professor doesn't have to grade nearly as much and doesn't need to hand out new prompts very often because the ones take so long to complete. This is how CPU slash GPUs work together to help build the world, so to speak. The CPU basically says, hey, I need you to make the world. The GPU renders and says, got it, next please. And then it repeats. If the GPU takes longer amount of time before it takes to ask for the next frame, the CPU has to give less instruction. So when you consider that relationship, if you're gaming at 1080p, you don't gain a lot from a 3000 series GPU. You're also probably being very cost conscious, which means price is a big factor. And if you aren't gonna gain a lot from having a GPU of that power, then waiting doesn't make a lot of sense. You could wait for a 3000 series GPU to help drive the price of 2000 series GPUs down, but that's really about it. And honestly, I wouldn't even expect that to be that much of a price difference. However, it's not all black and white for 1080p gaming. When you start to get above 120 plus FPS and you start to care about the quality of how some things look, it's where you actually may want to consider waiting for a 3000 series GPU. Again, using our professor example, the CPU wants the same amount of information in the paper, but the requirement is that the presentation needs to look nicer. The student must take more time to make it look nicer when he turns it in, meaning this GPU is taking more time, but not the CPU. For 1080p gaming, this is at really high frame rates where your GPU can now make things look really pretty really quickly and get the instructions to the CPU more quickly, meaning higher frame rates. Now, we're talking about the PCs with high-end CPUs like 10900Ks or 10700Ks or a 3950X or a 3900X where you want to push AAA ultra settings at ridiculously high speeds. Then 1080p and a 3000 series GPU may make sense. The only other thing to consider is ray tracing. Now, we are at an interesting, very interesting crossroads with ray tracing because not only will we see the first mainstream GPUs coming out with it from Big Navi, but the Xbox One Series X and PlayStation 5 are also boasting ray tracing capabilities, both powered by AMD in fact. And you will see way more games trying to utilize this as a differentiating, differentiating, as a differentiating factor for next gen consoles which means the PC versions of these games will also be using these and may in fact make ray tracing more mainstream for games on PC in the future. So say what you will about console gaming. And I know PCMR is like getting all mad at me. What are you talking about consoles here on a, on a, on a PC tech channel? But the, for most major publishers, we, they will be working through techniques to help make ray tracing cheaper and more performant in their engines given the push for next gen consoles, which means we have new techniques and we as PC gamers will get to see the benefits of that and working in our games across the board. Now, when you talk about RTX on at 1080p slash 60 FPS, then there are more than enough 2000 series GPUs that can do that with ease. And waiting for a 3000 series GPU doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So again, 1080p, 60 FPS, uh, RTX on, don't have to wait for 3000 series GPU. But what this means for high frame rate, AAA RTX on experiences has yet to be determined. So yeah, if you're a graphics fiend who wants to see the latest and greatest on your 240 hertz and ultra awesome detail, then it's probably worth waiting to see what Nvidia has up its sleeve. So what about 1440p? Well, here is where things get a little bit more interesting, but not a whole lot. The threshold for 3000 series GPUs necessity, and I use that term lightly, is just lower here because we are becoming more GPU dependent at this point. To be clear, a 2080 Super or 2080 Ti crushes at this resolution and with relative ease. But similar to 1080p, obviously the nicer you want the game to look at higher frame rates, the more waiting for a 3000 ser series GPU makes more sense. The same could be said for RTX at this resolution. I would say even more so because RTX is more taxing at 1440p and wanting to see what Nvidia is doing for next gen RTX may be interesting. So if you're thinking about 1440p, hey, it's a little bit, the bar's a little bit lower. But don't worry, I've got it. I've got a graphic that Brian doesn't know that he's gonna be making that will make this a whole lot clearer later on. Now, finally, when it comes to 4K gaming, this is where I feel like the answer is pretty simple. If you want a game at 4K and you're investing in an ecosystem of 4K, then yes, you should probably wait to see what 3000 series NVIDIA cards are going to have to offer. This is still the wild west of gaming where all the boundaries are going to be pushed and we're going to see the most benefit from a 3000 series or big Navi GPU. 
it's not just ray tracing, but this is where all new engine techniques that are gonna come from when it comes to next generation titles in the future. They will push the GPUs hard, given that there's more power and you're going to see the biggest benefit of having one of those next gen GPUs in your awesomely awesome PC. Let's talk about budget. Now, one trend you may or may not have noticed is that when we are talking about the benefit of next gen GPUs, one thing that isn't being accounted for is what I would consider budget or entry level PC builds. If you're looking at a PC in the sub 1000, 1000 or even up to $2,000 range, waiting for a 3000 series or big navi GPU isn't gonna do a whole lot for you. If those are your budgets, then I feel totally free with telling you going picking the best 2000 series or 5700 XT off the shelf and feeling good about your, pur your purchase. These are budgets targeted for 1080p, 100 to 150 FPS or 1440p, even up to 120 frame per second range all well within the capability of GPUs out now and not worth the hassle of fighting for stock and the prices that come with it until mid to late 2021. Now, if you're wanting to get into a PC gaming or can't even enjoy modern games now, then waiting for new GPUs shouldn't stop you. You could literally play the waiting game forever. And I feel comfortable drawing the line in the sand and saying you should feel free to move forward. Go ahead, purchase as you're probably not gonna gain a ton given that most of the cards that will be out at the beginning will be the rumored 3080 and 3080 Ti or the 3090, which will not be priced to fit well within that budget at all. The 3060 and 37 will happen sometime further down the line. And like what I said before, stock will be limited and what you are more than likely to gain won't be pushing you into another performance bracket like 240 FPS from 120 FPS, etc. Whew. Well, let's just wrap it up. I put it all in this great little chart that I hinted at later that I hope helps. Simply put, 1080p 60 FPS, no. 1080p 100 FPS, no. 1080p 240 FPS, yes. 1080p 60 FPS with RTX on, no. 1080p 100 frames per second plus RTX, yes. 1440p 60 FPS, no. 1440p at 100 FPS, no. At 240 FPS, yes. At 1440p 60 FPS with RTX, no. With 1440p with RTX at high frame rate, absolutely. And at 4K, yes, you should wait. So what do you think? Was this video helpful? What did you think about my rationale? Rationale. No, I don't know what my ration, whatever that other word is. I don't want you to comment on my rash. So what do you think? Was this video helpful? What did you think about my rationale? Do you agree or disagree? I'd love to hear about all of that stuff in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, be sure to slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we upload a new video. Also, be sure to check out our live show every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, starting at 6 p.m. right here on YouTube. And give us a follow on all the socials, at Robitech, that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and even TikTok, because we're hip to the kids. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go forth and build a BC, or play some games, or whatever you do. But hopefully you're out enjoying a restaurant, because things are getting better.